Johnson and Young Gendered Voices in Children's Advertising Topic 6 of Child Psychology The Impact of Advertising on Children The aim of this study was to see if children's TV adverts were scripted different for females and males. And do they link toys to gender stereotypical roles? Researchers also investigated the presence of gender exaggeration in voiceovers, such as high-pitched female voices or deep, powerful-sounding male voices. The method used was not an experiment or a correlation, but was in fact a content and discourse analysis. Content analysis is a method of research examining content from all kinds of material. Discourse analysis critically analyzes the features of speech, for example, vocabulary used or the tone in voice. The researchers analyzed 478 TV adverts from TV channels such as Nickelodeon and other commercial TV networks in New England. They were recorded between the year 1996 and 1997, and once again in 1999. The 478 adverts were classified under the following. Food and drink, educational, toys, recreational, video film promotion, or other. The researchers found that a large proportion of their sampled adverts was made up of toys and were open to elaboration. So they categorised them into three separate categories. Boy orientated, girl orientated, or both boy and girl orientated, meaning that no specific gender was targeted. Researchers considered the types of verbs present in each advert. Each verb was categorised in one of the following categories. Action verb elements. Competition, destruction verb elements. Power, control verb elements. Limited activity verb elements. Feeling and nurturing verb elements. And I don't think saying verb elements was really essential to say in all five categories. The results of this content and discourse analysis are as follows. Most of the adverts were boy orientated, with very few of the adverts being non-gender specific. The naming of toys reinforced gender stereotypes. Voiceovers tended to be gender specific to the toy being advertised. Verb element analysis revealed more words relating to competition and a control in boy adverts, whereas girl adverts were more nurturing, feeling, and caring. The following conclusions were made. Gender stereotyping is prominent across the various TV adverts. Reasons for gender stereotyping might include it being a successful marketing strategy.